Hello everybody, my name is Sniper Spawn and welcome all back to my next video to present to all of you here on YouTube. It's going to be yet again another The Five List, my fourth one in fact. And before I get started, I want to make a quick announcement about this. I did attempt to record this days ago and upload that video. I've been having problems with YouTube for some apparent reason where transfer failed or this video has a problem with uploading or whatever the heck else. I don't know what the reasons were, but I've faced these problems before and you know what I decided to do? I'm just going to try to record it again and see if this file that I'm uploading now is gonna upload instead. So if you're seeing this video right now, you know that this redone version of it's gonna be the one uploaded and not the original. Just wanna quickly let you guys know that if you guys have been wondering why there has been a five list lately, I was hoping to upload one on Monday or Tuesday and mm, problems trying to upload numerous times since then. But here we go, the five. My fourth one, in fact, to keep the ball rolling, I am going to be doing one more Kingdom Hearts list. So far, I've already done the five new Kingdom Hearts worlds, the five, five new Kingdom Hearts worlds, the five new Disney worlds, I believe should be in Kingdom Hearts 3. And I've also done the five Disney worlds I think should come back for Kingdom Hearts 3, returning Disney worlds for Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm going to be doing the opposite of that now for the five Disney worlds I feel should not be in Kingdom Hearts 3. The five Disney worlds I think should not return for Kingdom Hearts 3. And depending on how the future goes, any future installments after that. Let's get started with number one, or no number ones, these aren't numbered, but the first one, Tron. Now, I do know Tron's a big classic historical franchise from Disney. The original movie in the 80s was, was a classic feat for its time with you know special effects and everything. And it is a really cool movie scene, like a human person going into like this computer video game world and the whole sci-fi and digital effects on it. I, I'm not as nostalgic for it for, as a lot of people are. I've only seen that movie like a couple years ago. But it was still a really good freaking movie and the whole world with the whole life cycle racing and stuff like that is a really cool world and they include that for the first time in kingdom hearts 2 and it was based off the original movie and then they did tron evolution or whatever it was the second movie in dream drop distance but that's the thing they've already told both movies stories so far and there's no other content left to really do I do know, I can recall there being some animated cartoon series, I think, on Disney Channel years ago that kind of tied in with the second movie, I think, or was it, I don't know if it's an original thing, I never actually watched it. But that's just the thing, they've already detailed the first story's movie and the second story's movie. I would rather them not go and do like a spin-off thing, like the animated series on Disney Channel, or to do its own original story, because then that kind of defeats the purpose of keeping the world around just because it's historical, nostalgic, you know, franchise from Disney just to keep it around because of how much you know it means to the you know the company and how much nostalgia factor and historical factor it has I would rather than not just keep it around just to keep you know either retelling you know Tron 1 or Tron 2 or do its own original story or whatnot just because of the fact it's Tron I do know a lot of people love Tron I do love the riding light cycle thing and the whole atmospheric part of the world but they can do the whole video game aspect, like going into a video game aspect thing for other franchises, like say, for example, like Wreck-It Ralph. Probably would be the time to bring that in to fill in the humans going to a video game world type situation. And you could do something totally original by doing some video game-esque character stuff in there, like arcade video game-esque stuff in there. And the Tron world has already kind of had story told. I'd rather not than just keep it around just to keep it, like, you know, kick it in the mud and like, you know, just drag it through the mud basically just because it's Tron. I'd rather, like, if there's nothing left for them to do, I'd rather them not keep it around just to do something with it. Two goes to Winnie the Pooh, which is also another historical classic Disney franchise going around. I think, the, like, based off of books that started around, like, the 30s or 40s, and it's been terms of numerous cartoons, numerous movies, and now they're coming up with, like, a documentary type movie about, like, the, like the creator and whatnot and stuff like that. And it's, it's, it's a legacy franchise for... You know Disney just like how Tron really is but at the same time it's like they've done this world numerous times since Kingdom Hearts 1 it's the mini game world you go there to get items just to meet Winnie, Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, Eeyore, you know Rabbit you know all like you know Rue and all that stuff and just to meet the world just a big nostalgia trip just to go in there and visit them and go on adventures with them doing mini games and whatnot and they did that that's how it was in Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 2 and it's just like a side little book story 
it's not even really required to beat the game, but it's like they've done it numerous times that you can, like I said, how Tron, like you can do the computer world with something else. You could do a mini game world with something else other than Winnie the Pooh. I'm not saying anything against Winnie the Pooh. At least there's something to tell because unlike like Tron, Tron has set mo two movies in a series. Winnie the Pooh has numerous books, cartoons, movies, and it's like the story can be anywhere because all it is is Christopher Robin going around traveling with Winnie the Pooh and his friends to do random little adventures. You can do, there's no set content for what you can really do with it. But at the same time, they've done it numerous times over and over and over again. Sometimes fans want something new. And it's nothing against Winnie the Pooh or anything because I love the franchise. I've been stolen before I grew up with it like a lot of people out there have. But it's like I want to see something new and I think a lot of people would agree with me on that. And you can always just have Winnie the Pooh as a side thing where you go and visit them but it's not its own world. Which I think is what they should start doing is having the ability for you to visit Disney characters but not have them be in their own worlds. So keep Winnie the Pooh around but make that mini game world some other either non-violent oriented Disney movie or series or... A small little Disney franchise that could at least fit into something there where it won't be a full big world, but it's like its own little mini thing. Three is going to go to The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid, they did the original story twice, in fact, with Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. We've already fought Ursula in the, whole, in the first one, and then they brought her back for the musical part of Kingdom Hearts 2. We've beat her twice. We've done the story of The Little Mermaid twice. All that's left now is pretty much Little Mermaid 2, which, you know, Ariel gets with Eric. They have Melody, their daughter, and Morgana, Ursula's sister, wants to come back for revenge, goes after Melody, and so on and so forth. The problem with that is it's not as, like, epic of a movie story as, say, the original was, and especially not as classic of a movie story as the original was, which was a really big movie from Disney. Um, and also, it's like... <clears throat> It's like it's not one of the best direct to VHS stories that the Disney movies have actually had. So it's like if that's all that's left and it's not the most epic story for that would fit for a Kingdom Hearts world. And it also it's like it's not one of the best ones to tell anyways. And they've done Little Mermaid since day one. Really, that's all that, that they should cut it because if they're if, uh, if, if they're going to bring it back be like oh no instead of doing um, Little Mermaid 2 we're going to do the story of, of one again and bring Ursula back that's pointless because we beat her twice actually three or four times in fact um, <clears throat> they could do Ariel's Beginnings but it's like a precursor story and it makes no sense because they've already done Kingdom Hearts you know in Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 like the original Little Mermaid story and it would make no sense continuity wise there's nothing else left to tell. They can't tell the original again. They shouldn't do Ariel's Beginning because it's continuity-wise. It makes no sense. All they have left is Lion, uh, is, uh, Lion King. I talked about that the last video. Um, Little Mermaid 2. And the story is cool and all, but it doesn't really fit too much of a Kingdom Hearts setting. And it's not really that big of a story to begin with, especially as a follow-up to the original. No, nothing against Little Mermaid, but it's like, it's been there since day one. If you want a world that has the totally unique different controls, like the swimming controls... You could do that with anything else. If you want a world that has the mini game, rhythm based music stuff, you could do that with anything else because Disney's known for their music. Time to cut ties with Little Mermaid. I'm sorry. Four, and this is when I start getting into this. The fourth and fifth one are ones that really are truly hurting me to say because they're two movies and franchises I love a lot. But there's, like I said, like basically mentioned so far, there's nothing left for them, and it really hurts me to say this for these two. So these next two are the two on this list that I really, really hurt me to actually say on this thing. Four goes to Mulan. I love Mulan. It's one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. But just like I said with Little Mermaid, there is nothing to tell. They've already done the original story. They beat Sean Yu. They beat the Huns. They did the first movie story. The first movie story is epic in its own self. And Sora came in and helped Mulan, you know, rescue China, blah, 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 from the Huns and Sean Yu and everything. All that's left is the is mulan 2 and while i don't think it's as bad as people say it is it's not really that great of a movie and especially compared at least little mermaid has at least a major villain in a story about you know the next generation melody ariel's daughter and there's actually a story to it, it may not be the most epic story driven sequel of a thing to do for kingdom hearts but at least there's something there there's nothing there for mulan there's no major villains it's about the marriage thing between you know, <coughs> the, the, you know mulan's marriage with what's his face and then the three pr protecting these three princesses for this emperor about the huns invading china and this mission mulan has to go on and yada 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 and it's like 
there's nothing there. There's no major villain. There's no major antagonist. There's no major anything there for a Kingdom Hearts story. Unless you do an original villain. Because technically, Mushu was the villain in that movie because he didn't want Mulan to get married to lose his power of his being the god and the, the family and everything. The spirits and everything. So it's like, they've done the major story. And though it's only been in one game, and I love Mulan so much, just, no, I'm sorry. You can do other Disney worlds, and you gave Mulan its time to shine, but now there's nothing there with Mulan 2, and I would hate there to be the original story, and I would hate especially if they redid Mulan 1. Sorry. And the fifth one goes to Nightmare Before Christmas, because just like Little Mermaid, they've done the Kingdom, you know, they've done the movie story twice, even though in the original Kingdom Hearts, the, it wasn't exactly the movie's story. It wasn't exactly the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas story. It was just Oogie Boogie doing, you know, evil stuff and your help, you met Jack Skellington and whatnot. They did the pretty much the movie story in, you know, <clears throat> Kingdom Hearts 2 with, you know, Santa Claus visiting Christmas Town, the other holidays, and, you know, stuff like that. But like that, just like I mentioned with Mulan, just like I mentioned with Tron, just like I mentioned with Little Mermaid, they've done all the main content in the games, you know, They've all, they've done the story. They defeated Oogie Boogie twice. I would hate for Oogie Boogie to just be brought back. It's like I would hate you know Ursula to be brought back or Sean Yu to be brought back. The villains shouldn't just come back to life over and over and over again. There's other Disney villains out there. There's other Disney worlds out there they could treat. I would hate to be oh, the the heartless and the nobodies and the organization bring people back from the dead. Some people just need to stay dead and Disney worlds just need to be finished. I love Nightmare Before Christmas a whole heck of a lot. One of my favorite movies probably of all time is, you know, <laughs> especially from Disney. But it's like they've done the story numerous times. It's been in pretty much most of the series so far. They've done retold the story over and over and over again. You thought Oogie Boogie here, Oogie Boogie there, this here, Halloween Town there, Jack Skeleton there, Sally there, the mayor here. A lot, Shock, Lock, and Barrel all over the place. I love it. But they've done it numerous times. I would not want them to do an original story. Like I mentioned, mentioned with Little Mermaid and Mulan and Tron. Doing the original story defeats the hers of having the Disney World. Because you really want to go there to see the Disney World. Unless the original story is like the Organization 13 or Xehanort come in there. And they beat up Mulan or do some crap. And they kidnap Ursula or I don't know what the heck ever. Unless it affects the main story of the Kingdom Hearts world taking on Xehanort and everything. When you go to the Disney World, you want to see the Disney World. And we've already seen these worlds numerous times. And it hurts me to say Mulan and it hurts me to say like, before Christmas. But that it, it it's time to put it out and bring in some new Disney Worlds. There's a ton of Disney Worlds, old school and new school. Movies that have just come out the last couple of years. Versus movies that have been out since like the 70s, 80s, and 90s that have yet to even be in Kingdom Hearts. Put some of those in there. Night Before Christmas, unless something new comes out in the future, which is probably unlikely... It's done. I'm sorry. And those are my five Disney worlds I feel should not come back for Kingdom Hearts 3. Put in the comment section what you guys think. Do you guys agree with, you know, The Night Before Christmas, Mulan, the, you know, Little Mermaid, Winnie the Pooh, and Tron? What worlds do you not want to see come back? Put in the comment section below. We can discuss it there. Have fun. And all you Kingdom Hearts fans out there, I hope you guys like this video. And I hope this one uploads unlike the original. So uh, enjoy it. Put in the comment section what you guys think. And see you all later in the next video. Bye.